Cheers. Coffee. Morning's best friend. So, funny thing. I actually did this video already, like, a few months ago. When I first got this lens, I did a little box opening. And then I forgot to edit it and publish it. So, some of the things that I say in there are future tense. Basically, I use this lens for the Moment Invitational uh, film festival competition thing whatever that review was just it was basically an unboxing and i was talking about using it and stuff so this um in a different spot a different like it had completely different i was wearing like a beanie and it was cold it'll be hopping back and forth we're gonna go watch me unbox the video real quick but just keep in mind i'm talking about the future i'm gonna do this and this and this i also can't remember if i said that i would show like footage and stuff from it up next um if i did Obviously, I'll just cut this part out. Um, but if not, then after I get done unboxing, I'll throw in a few like different shots that I got with it, and I'll come back here and talk about talk about what I thought. So I'm super excited about today because I got some mail packages from Moment Lenses. I am doing the Moment Invitational film competition. For an entire week straight, like all I've been watching on YouTube is stuff about these lenses, how to shoot better on a phone, because I've never really tried to do filmmaking on my phone. I've always done it like on a on a DSLR or something. So I'm super excited to try this out. So let's dive in. The case. Dude, that is nice looking. Let's get lost. That is cool. Dude, let's get this bad boy on here. Oh, that is nice. That is really nice. Very minimalistic design. Um, it's got like the soft touch to it too. My old school. Adobe bus. I used to have one. Sold it. Sad. But this is what I'm really looking forward to. Anamorphic. I'm so excited to open this. It's kind of crazy because I kept watching like videos of people opening this. And now here I am. Oh, dang. Dang, I am so excited. I know I don't sound serious. I'm really tired, actually. Oh, wow. That's, like, heavy. So how does this go on exactly? Like, you just... That is sick. Okay, I'm going to pause here because I still need to download the app. So I'm going to download the app real quick. Okay, so I just downloaded the Filmic Pro app. I watched a lot of videos on YouTube and um, one of my friends told me that this was it was just a little bit better or something. I don't know. I might end up switching. Okay, let's stick this on here real quick. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. That is so cool. Oh dang, you have to pay extra for the log. Okay, so apparently, I didn't know this. I, I don't think any of the YouTube videos I watched told me about this. You had to pay $15 extra for the cinematographer kit. Which basically, I mean, it looks like it's totally worth it. Because um, you get to film in log. Okay, fine. Purchase. Hmm. I'm definitely going to have to play around with this quite a bit. I, I guess I should finish taking out whatever else is in here. here. Got a cool little carrying pouch very oh my gosh extremely tiny little tool thing there a lens cap i'm gonna go ahead and put that on there it just scares me without having it on there that's nice there's a little line that matches up with um a line on top and so you just like just make sure those align <laughs> and then you're good to go
some of the footage was pretty cool. I thought, I mean, I don't know, maybe maybe it looks like garbage. It was the first time I sh tried to shoot professionally on a phone. So it was a little bit challenging. Some of the settings weren't exactly what I wanted just because of the limitations of a phone. And so that was like a, just a whole thing to get over, you know. Um, the phone doesn't do very well in low light. Fine. I was shooting on an A7, or I'm shooting on an A7S right now. I was shooting on the iPhone 7. So it's not even the best camera on the iPhone right now. Overall, I thought it looked pretty, pretty dope, actually. The lens, this little, this little guy comes in this fancy little pouch. This little guy really, this guy is pretty stinking awesome. I mean, well, first off, it adds just the look of your phone. I got so many people coming up to me like, dude, what are you, what, what is that on your phone? Are you shooting something? I've seen some people say, um, one of the advantages to using moment lenses is you can film like anywhere and not get weird looks. But honestly, I feel like you get more weird looks filming on your phone than if you were to have a camera because people see you on your phone and then they're like, what is that thing attached to that guy's phone? And then like, I had several people come up to me and ask me what it was, but that just goes to show like pretty cool just the novelty of being able to shoot on your phone and it looked that cool because I would I'd explain it and I'd show them because they'd be like oh that's interesting and I'd show them like what it looks like on my phone and they'd be like oh whoa that actually looks really cool the one thing so I used both of the main video apps I downloaded the Filmic Pro. It's been a while since I've used either one of them, the Moment app or the Filmic Pro, since I've filmed my short films. Which, by the way, you can go view those short films on my channel. I'll leave a link in the description and um, at the end of this video. Um, and you can go, go check those out. I think they turned out pretty cool. Um, anyway, I didn't win, but it was still really fun to do. Just the extra app purchases. Uh, I didn't see any reviews that told me I would have to buy extra stuff in the app. Kind of irked me a little bit because I'd already paid like like 15 bucks or something for the app itself. And then you get in there and you have to pay like another 15 bucks. So it ended up being like, like $30, give or take. I can't remember exactly how much it is. I'll look it up and put it like on the video somewhere. So that kind of made me mad. And then I had, which this may have been user error because I was still trying to learn the app and everything. Some issues with it, um, I would, the ma a whole reason to use these apps is so that when you're moving the camera, it doesn't change the exposure like the default um, camera app does on your phone. And I was having so many issues with it where I thought it would be locked, like the exposure would be locked on my phone. And then I would go, I would pan with the uh, subject and it would, like I'd get these weird flickers. And I'll put, like I'll show it right now. Um, you can see I'm walking with Noah here in the in this office and I, it happened a lot in the office for some reason i think i saw some other places where it happened too it's subtle but it's also not if that makes sense it's like it just doesn't look good i don't like it and we did we weren't able to reshoot or anything so i just had to live with it um which really irked me and so then i started using the moment app and the moment app i feel like was a little bit easier to learn it seemed to work pretty well um, the only, <laughs> when it worked, I guess I should say, I had so many issues with this app crashing. Like, I would turn it on, and it would come up, and it would crash. Or I'd turn it on, and it would come up fine. Oops, sorry. I'd turn it on, and I'd start recording, and then it would do something weird, and it would just crash in the middle of recording, which is not definitely not good. That was a while ago, so they... Or I say a while ago, it was several months ago, and they just came out with a new update, and I haven't messed around with the new update yet. So that it might hopefully, hopefully that's fixed because that was really like not good. And I actually got selected to be on the Moment Apps Slack team for the new beta for the new app. But what sucks is I got selected and I got super busy at work. And so like I just didn't have any time to get on there to deal with, you know, writing stuff and everything. So moment people, if you're watching this, I'm really sorry. Like I really appreciate being selected. What else about this lens is great. I mean, just the build quality in general is very, very solid. One thing I do have a problem with, I wish they would give you something to cover up this little, this back part. Because what I found, it, like, it already has dust in there. It scares me to clean. Because I don't know how in the world you clean it. First off, like, I guess with a Q-tip, maybe? 
I don't know if the camera's focusing or not, but that's just open to the glass on the inside. Like, that's just a hole. So I wish they would have either put a piece of glass over this that would have protected it that you could clean, or given you a cap on the back. Because they have this, this nice cap on the front of it. I don't know why. I guess you could use tape, like gaff tape, but then you have to, like, worry about it sticking or not, or getting the tape itself getting dirty. I don't know. I may do that anyway. It's a decent idea. But they have this little carrying pouch. I mean, it's just still, it would be nice to have a cap on the back regardless. I would like to try out the wide lens next, the wide moment lens, because it looks like it would be really good for vlogging and stuff. This one, I don't know how good it would be for vlogging. I mean, it's wide, so that would be good, but I feel like it's just a little too, it's a little too extra, you know what I mean, for vlogging. Anyway, I hope you guys like the review. If you do, like and subscribe. I hate asking that because I feel like a YouTuber or whatever. That's dumb. But it, it would be kind of cool to get some likes and some subs on this. Uh, I want to do more reviews, so this is kind of my first review in the bag. I don't know how well it is or how well it's going to turn out, but it's kind of fun. Yeah, like I said before, I'll leave a link in the description and at the end of this video to go check out the... I did two short films using the Moment Anamorphic Lens. I think they both turn out pretty good. Um, you let me know. I'm hoping to do more on the channel, so hopefully I'll have some more stuff coming out. There's a lot of different stuff. I got some funny, funny skits. I got some documentary stuff. I got vlogs. Grab bag, you know what I'm saying. So, anyway. Is that what YouTubers do? And they say go. All right. Well, see you.